Hello everybody, Team Jet here, and welcome back to our m mother and daughter, uh, witch in the, um, I'll, I'll play through, witch in the wardrobe, that, that's the word we're trying to say there, <laughs> play through, where we are playing as, uh, as the Tsarina, or in this case Boris, who has just returned to Kislev, and, and the mother up here in the north, where Tom is having a fun and wonderful time with no issues whatsoever. <laughs> yes, yes, let's let's all <laughs> believe that and and it's all happy days. So uh, you, my, my hag witch lord is staying here. I'm glad I didn't declare war on the Skaven because they have a hell of a lot of troops there. Just keeping an eye on my border. We are building up the Give Boris here. I'm um, going to build up a fairly solid army for him. Demon Slayer. And yeah, and one other thing I can do is I am going to waste some of my... Mm, yeah, I'm going to waste some of my gold to give me extra... Oh, to, oh no, it reduces their support. It doesn't increase yeah. your support. I mean, if you got spare gold, <laughs> all I'm going to say is... Oh no, it still, it still reduces it. It means he is less diplomatically powerful. I need 6,100 to upgrade the city. Um, <laughs> and I am going to take Salyak here to give my more growth across my territory. Weirdly, um, the uh, you don't seem to get the Chaos Invasions in this mod yet. The Chaos Incursions. But yeah, that's, that's kind of me. Yep. So over to you. I, I was just, because I finished my turn previously very quickly. You yeah, know, I need to build up some of my other cities so I can start getting um, more buildings built in them so I can actually get um, bears. Bears. Bears! All the bears. Now, there is a very mad part of me wondering if I should go try and wipe out Vilch's settlement. How many settlements does he have? I think he only has one. If you can do it, it's worth it. If you fail, it's absolutely not. <laughs> yeah. I am not that far off. I, I don't know if I'll get it this today, but I'm not that far off confederating Costalton, at which point, A, it will be an absolute nightmare. <laughs> but to manage. Mm -hmm. To manage my territory. Um, but it will... I mean, it will change my focus completely away from the mountains. But my plan is to give you... I'm just going to show you. I'll show you the others. Basically, Donatsk Forest, Eastern Oblast, and the Staroslav Forest. All of that sort of corner of Kislev up there will be yours, which includes Prague. Because yes, I know you need that. <laughs> as, as we've unfortunately discovered, is I need, yeah, one of the major settlements to unlock my... I suspect there is a way wonders. around... Oh, I could have mm. built buildings for you before we gave you regions, couldn't I? Uh, yes, that's true, but uh, yeah, uh, but no, um, yeah, I mean, currently Prague is actually held by chaos, but we'll we'll, we'll deal with that. <laughs> yeah, wanting to just sort of forget about that, I would say. Oh, it looks to be a good war going on here. The undead and Skaven are fighting. Fantastic. Uh, which, I mean, which has the most never-ending horde? That's the question. <laughs> It's it's an interesting one there actually because I think you know if you just did straight up Skaven versus undead, I would be very tempted to say that the Skaven counter the undead. They've got well. a lot of ranged and they're fast. It depends on how high level. I think high level undead are, I mean, are very solid. But then again, high level Skaven. I would not say are as good actually. Follow uh, the bear. Alright, I am just taking this chance to look at tech. Yeah, I'm I'm working out what building, so I'm getting a couple of ice guard in for Boris as well. Rebo for Kislev. It's getting to max level to build up Kislev is just taking forever. The lost Zar oh, you know returns. What? I am going to move to uh, take the uh, Warriors of Chaos Settlement. 
Yeah, I'm I'm upping my cavalry a fair bit as well. Uh That'll do. It's four turns of building I've got going. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is, I'm, I'm still bringing the Tsarina home, and she's going to have to build up as well. A pale shadow of my palace. Well, ooh, Ostermark wants to trade with me. Please give me your money. Thank you. People still don't want a piece of me. I'm really surprised that the Gormandy tribe don't want a piece out with me. I'm taking the for tech for the melee cavalry. The thing is, chaos are like that, though. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, was... I am all done. Over to your screen. Yep, uh, and I'm done. I was just trying to decide on the building management because a lot of my buildings are taking a lot of penalties to the actual income that they produce. That's annoying. Yeah, it's been very hard to keep the happiness in my territories high. Which is odd, because all your territory, at least to me, would be ter I might I'd have no problem with it. Well, the thing is, I don't actually have access to those churches. Hmm. The only happiness building I've got is the one which the taverns. I've got to say, I'm not quite sure why... You, why I, mean, I think it's an SFO thing which is limiting you with those buildings. I'm not sure I like that. Uh, no, it's not an SFO thing. There must be some other way she can get hold of them because... Oh, she can forest walk though, can't she? Yes, she gets access to a forest teleportation so thing. So she can teleport back to Kislev because she obviously starts a long way from Kislev in Immortal Empire. Oh, well. yes. Yeah. Though I do notice there are a whole whole load of mods swapping her back to norm back to her normal start position. <laughs> now, Van Greitus, what are they trying to do? Oh, they're 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 having the uh, they're fighting the undead. Oh, happy days! <laughs> In the silver pinnacle. I wish there were more things which allowed you to reduce the cost of garrison upgrades. Mm. Actually, I'll tell you an interesting one. If there was some way which enabled you to artificially increase the settlement in uh, the garrison in specific settlements by increasing the upkeep of that I, settlement, I or think it would be nice to. I like having. I, I, I like having garrisons. I. I the old games where you didn't have garrisons. I was never a fan of. Even though it gave you free, and basically it, it had it, but it was more of a micromanagement thing. Of of you got a certain amount of free units in the thing. Yeah. I think it would be really nice. Oh, you've got the man blight tribe have appeared in your territory, by the way. Yep, I see them. Um, the thing I would like is. To have an ability to be able to tweak your garrison. Yeah. Um, by the way, I am going to go attack and circle Vinstor. Um, that's six, six. Six? So I'm, just, I'm, I'm working out how many units of various types Rebo. I've got in my army. For uh, I'm going to give... I'm going to give... Ooh. I'm going to give um, Boris a uh, Patriarch for the time being. I'd prefer to give him an Ice Witch or a Hag Witch, but I don't have either available. I return. Understandable. Uh, right. I say I'm just moving to encircle. Because I highly doubt I'll be able to take it this turn. Well, I can, except I'll lose most of my army. But the good thing is... Siege out, stop them going. Exactly. Stop them growing, more importantly, as with it being their only assessment. Hear me roar. I am all done. Yep, and I'm currently just building garrisons. <laughs> 
To be what's funny with this army I've just given Boris is I've, there's a fairly good chance I'm just going to throw it at the Tsarina to do a quest battle. I mean, gotta love quest battles. Uh, and, yep, all all done on this end. So let's see whether the Vilch's faction attack out or... Because the Bersenlings have a full army of marauders. Yeah, you may have to attack. Thing is, you break the vassalage. They will still be at war with you, but you'll yeah. have to break the vassalage. I'm contemplating raising the settlement. Sorry, Kilstoutin wanted a defensive alliance, but he just wasn't offering enough. Oh, completely. You do not want to keep that settlement. It's far too far out of the way. Mm. It's an awkward one. Not until you're not unless you've got the defences behind you. Hmm. Yeah, I the think only thing them. about taking it mm. is you might be able to trade it for a peace treaty. Oh, here we go. Uh, so it's a pick victory and I lose two units. I am very tempted to take that. You, because... You're guaranteed to kill them all and that'll be a horrible fight. Yeah, with the Chaos Warriors as I'm well. I'm going to be honest, I probably would. Yeah. Right, so if I... Loot and occupy. Yep. Then try and sell it. Agreed. Assuming and it gives me that replenishment for, <laughs> for one round. Uh, I'd try, try and sell it to the Bersling first, because I think they're a better peace option for you to start with. True, because the other guys don't have any borders with me. Doesn't stop them coming through, but you know what I mean. It's, it's yeah. you're in a trick. You're in a very tricky position, and obviously. But the best thing is, we have wiped out Vilch. Yeah. Oh, and the man blight have uh, declared war on me. <laughs> oh shit! I'm um, not calling you in. Feel free to call me in. I'll no, be, I... I'll be my. I'll, I'll I'll deal with him in a few turns. Shit. Right. And I've got somebody declaring war on me, too. <laughs> oh. Could be worse. I mean, what's more funny is he declared war on me, he attacked my settlement, know, and it was an easy auto, and he had one army and was a roving force, die. so he's now dead. So he literally committed suicide on one of my settlements. The lost Tsar returns. Settlement besiege. Uh, I need Cut to see if... Right. I have just a quick auto. Yeah. Ah, oh, I like those. So you wipe them out? Best, th best thing is, I got a new trinket from it. So, um, hmm. I'm going to need to do some diplomacy in a second, but I'll let you. Uh... No, I was I was umming and ahhing between units, but actually I'm not because I've I've just unlocked more Zargard. But actually I'm going to save the other four Zargard I've got for the Zarina's army. <gasps> but I've unlocked some Griffin Legion. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, they take three turns to recruit. That's that's quite a long. Uh... Yeah. They'll have to go in the Zarina's army. Well, at the point when I'm actually looking at doing recruitment through um, global to make it slightly quicker, so my army will be up and running in two turns now. Right, so I'm going to try the bear sling for giving Vin score. Oh. I'm actually pulling the hag mother out of the Zarina's army. No, not what they do for them. Uh, they will take it. Vince, they will take Vinscore for peace treaty, but nothing else, and they'll give me 2,300. Nice, that's Bessling. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily trust it's going to stay, but that's, but, that's yeah. not bad. Gives me time to build up my uh, yeah. defenses. Cool. So I'm just doing a bit of building. There asks it. I know the best thing about that is it actually gives me chance to 
actually upgrade some of my settlements. There is that. So I'm trying to get myself extra. The thing is, it's, it's, I've got the really horrible thing of if I level settlements up too fast with military buildings, I lose growth because I'm not a fan of that in the slightest. Oh, it, but remember, you're getting growth from all your farms and the taverns and stuff. Yes, but I, I, games design, I'm all done, by the way. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Trying. Games design, doing negatives, it's always really tricky because you've got to do it in a satisfying way which feels satisfying. And I hate to say it, giving you minus 10 growth for giving, building a building uh, doesn't, it doesn't feel satisfying. Uh, and it's it's something I'd say is, it's a minor, minor, Warsons how can I phrase it? You could, easy, how, you could easily remove that and balance it by just giving you slightly less growth in all the other buildings. And um, I understand why they do it. But at by the, the way, same time, it's 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 not a great way of doing it. Uh, just to interrupt you, I have unlocked a uh, curse which does constant 24 to 48 damage per second as long as their hit points are greater than 25%. Oh, that's evil. I love the one which makes gives them damage whenever they move. I'm going to be honest. I think that's brilliant. Oh, complete. But the thing is, I'm, I'm just going for all the damaging curses oh, now. Oh, completely. There's no point, sort of, because like the one which does it over twenty five percent, you put that on their heroes and lords. You know that's gonna, especially if they've got spellcasters. It's gonna burn. Yeah. He'll he'll but... he'll he'll get it eventually, guys. <laughs> Anyway, I mean, um, I mean, I mean, going around, going ooh. to their settlements, giving them things which burn, uh, curses which burn. Sorry, I'm just looking at where Throt the Unclean is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, I deal with one enemy and sort of like five more pop out. Throt the Unclean is just, yeah. However, his actual army currently looks to He's be just... He's not at war with either of Siva. No, he's just enjoying the I think, raiding. I think, I think that has to be our end game. Once we've dealt with everything else, I think our end game is leading a ginormous force into the hell pit. <laughs> you know, just multiple armies. Because the thing is, to take it, we're going to have to garrison every single settlement on the, the, the entire way down. You do realise that? Yeah, um, I'm just going to say, if I somehow manage to have more than one army at a time, I will be stunned. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. You see, I, I've got, um, I've got three, right? You do know that. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> but to say, take there, I reckon we would need nine armies, one for each settlement, because we'd have to garrison them to keep it hot. To, to otherwise, they'll just bounce around behind. I mean, the AI may fuck up, but still, a minimum of three armies so you can bounce around quite easily. Ah, uh, I don't think it'd be that. You don't know how slow... I, I suspect they've also reduced movement in there. Oh, probably. But, you know... It's, it's where, you wanna, you wanna, where you want somebody playing the dwarves. You can just jump in there. I'm going to be honest, I, I do want to play the Norse dwarves at some point. <laughs> On this map? Yeah, they start quite well built up, but I also think that they are... Um, yeah, you're going to have pain... Alright. This is no place for um. I'm leaving it on your screen because I basically have nothing. Oh do okay. Uh let's carry on dashing back. Because Through I think I might bring myself Well, I'm gonna bring myself back to deal with those Skaven to the south. On his one weird on his two weird monster sleigh? <laughs> it's a fantastic sleigh. I'm just making sure I do the appropriate building management.
I love the fact that vampires have just been in, sitting in the centre of Kislev for basically ever now. I mean, if it works... I mean, know. effectively, I've been happy to leave them there because they've just been a fawn in everybody else's side. Though they are pieced, I believe they're pieced out with, um, with the orthodoxy now. That's that's pretty good. Um, oh, actually, I'm just going to quickly check diplomacy, making sure everything's as it should be, and yeah. I have so many curses prepared now for <laughs> encounters. Curses. Curses. <laughs> and 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 boons as well. Curses and boons, eh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> How many hag witches is too many hag witches for an army? When your army looks like a gingerbread house, you've got too many. <laughs> okay. You've seen some modders have um, given her a um, a, a, tree, a, a chicken hut oh, thing. Oh, yes. I have seen that. And, and they've given glorious. it to her, but there's a chicken hut thing, and I assume it's to do with her. Oh, yeah. It's got to be. Funny thing is, I'm still at war with bone rattlers, wherever they may be. Oh, they're the far side of me. They're the ones you dragged me into all saying, oh, don't worry, they're in the north. And I was like, no, they're not. They're right here. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't think they've actually attacked the me Boca once. No, they've not been close enough to attack you. More Empire people wanting non-aggression pacts. But probably because he's surrounded by angry trees. Hmm. Yeah, just just to warn you, my southern border border is just a very very angry looking forest, pretty much. I want to appease the trees. <laughs> Hopefully Ooh. they don't. Uh... I mean, we all know I'm going for the growth one, right? You know what? I might not. I'm going for ten percent re upkeep reduction to up my income because it's getting a little tight, guys. No comment. <laughs> I am being a little cheese. I'm um, stealing Boris's army for the Tsarina. Uh, the crystal cloak. Do, 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 do. And yeah, we are. We're quest battling. Da, da, da. I'm saving first. I don't like this battle. Well, I was going to say, is yeah. it actually... Uh... It it's an ambush. I but I can decline it? 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 What? Well. Literally, nothing here, everything here is good in melee. <laughs> the downside is. They're not a melee. What is attacking us is not a melee army. Oh, I remember this fight. Yeah, I think I do too. Yeah. I see, because I, I remember doing it. To, I was thinking, oh, this is great. All my units have ranged. Yeah, you, ranged is not helpful here. No. <laughs> Fast Luckily, movers. Yeah. What you want say, against Siege is fast movers. I've got to keep chasing them down as well because of the barrier. Oh, yeah. Come on, game. Load. Hmm. I've, I've kind of just got a black screen. Ah. We must prevail. The happiness... Okay. Oh, they do have Forsaken, by the way, and Knights. Yep. Oh, and have you seen the penalty for ambushes? Have the slow units. 
Uh, you get minus 29% melee attack and defense and charge bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Have the slow units, by the way. Uh, hang on. All right. Oh, I want to get myself positioned. Basically, just turn and form a line. Try and get your melee in front to start with. Where are their units? I'm going to be honest. I am just going to try and do a massive cavalry charge up into their 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 their, their cart their ranged units. Understandable. So I'm going to move up. So my plan is I'm moving up to here and then we're going to slam round into there. So if you can kind of just try and form a sort of couple of lines there. That's what I'm trying to do. No promises, though. <laughs> do your best. Right. Yep. Ready? Yes. Of all mankind is the duty of every Kislevite. Charge! Oh, the Sarina has low health. Mass cavalry charge is now happening, by the way. Are you? F whoa, 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 whoa! Stop! Pause. What? What? You ignored completely. Ignored the guys at the back. Oh shit! I didn't even see them. Yeah, I was. <laughs> Oh god, I, think, I didn't tell uh, you what I was doing. Yeah, I know. I thought you were dealing with that lot. First no, I cavalry. literally drew big arrows on the map of where I was going. I did not I know they were there. Hang on. Uh, let me do the ice sheet spell. Try and stop down their charge. Slow down their charge. I mean, I've got the other flank. If you can turn people around, I've got the other flank. Uh, you know it's not just that bit. It's the other... S they've already got engaged with the Doom Knights and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't stop. There's no way I could stop them. Yeah, I'm, I'm bringing. I, I'm trying. To, I'm disengaging the the bears and bringing them back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Okay. I'm pause. I think. Oh, by the way, you've got two snow leopards. Uh, yep. Snow leopard summon. Charging the bears at the blue horror. Sorry, I needed to pause there. I'm doing a bit of a back and forwards charging, if you see what I mean. Oh, completely. This magic, though, absolutely. Yeah, that's why I don't like fighting them. Uh, can we just take a pause a second? Um, okay, so I'm just trying to figure out which units are still okay. <laughs> which I know sounds terrible. Oh, no, I know exactly what you mean. Um... I shouldn't have fought this battle, but I wanted to it's do something. It's the, uh, uh, the Exalted Flamer of Siege, which we could really do with Where someone. Is it? It's at, right by the Snow Leopard at the furthest point. Okay, the I'm grinder. getting the slow. I'm moving the slow le Snow Leopard over to it. Yeah. It should. It, it, it's meant to be not be too bad for the Snow Leopard to take out. Yeah. I'm pausing. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just trying to cycle charge a little bit as well. Oh, 
Oh, kitty cats are absolutely doing their jobs. All right, by the way, summoning... Oh, the Tsar Arena is routed. I've summoned uh, some yeah, things Yeah, they're already in the, in the fight, so that's fine. I'm trying yeah. to get them on date breeze. That's where the cat should be as well. Wolf tough Kislevites! Kislevites! Moving! This is just a mess at the moment. Oh, completely. The issue awesome. with this is it's closing the in on their ranged units fast enough. Because you've got to close in. Big spell, big spell, big spell. Uh. Here, big spell. Get your uh, Zargard out of the way. Are you saying there's a big spell there? Yeah, can you not see it on the ground? Nope. It's a giant circle there. Pull this unit of Zargard that way. Yep, already on it. They're right on the edge of it now. I think Pull they'll be okay, the but I don't want to risk it. I never actually saw what went off there, but... Did anything go off there? Possibly they cancelled it. If you can ha give me some help of that exalted, by the way, that'd be really useful. Um, I have no idea which exalted you're the talking about. The one you about. told me to get the cat on. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay. cleared now. There, we've got this. It, it's a difficult fight, but we, we, I, I'm fairly fairly confident we got it. Oh, shit! Still got a soul grinder in there. No, the Zarin is dead. Oh! <laughs> yeah, because she had routed, obviously. You know, their caster, she was coming back and their caster just, 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 just whacked her with a spell. Yeah, that soul grinder is probably going to be the worst thing. Uh, I've got the bizarre guard on it. Try and get your ranged on it as much as possible. They'll be much yeah. better at killing oh, it. Oh, agreed. I'm getting everything on my lord because I can take him out as a chance to rest a little break. Back to the abyss with you fell servant of Siege. Yep, it's over. Ooh. Hey, to be fair, even though we've lost the Tsarina, she gets 10% <laughs> ward save from this battle and a few other nice things. Holy moly. That was brutal. Thing is, Yasarkar definitely did survive the best. These battles are definitely not balanced for SFO, obviously. Um, the only thing we completely lost was the Tsarina. Yeah. Their lord got 193 kills. It's Their just, lord and magic. that exalted flame were the things which did the yeah. damage to us. Uh, actually, and the Chaos Knights. Yeah, 86 is still a lot, but it's not that soakable. Yeah, I guess. Thing to remember is that flamer will also be the lot of splash damage as well. Exactly. Yeah, it basically took out one of the Streltsy just in one bombardment. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the Zargard were definitely... Absolutely. They held the line really like well and got a good amount of kills as well. They're two-handed ones, that is. Mm. I'm always 50-50 on which I prefer. It depends who I'm fighting. Fighting in the north against Chaos, they are by far the best. The two-handed ones for Zargard. Yeah. 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 I mean, we're not surprised by how useful the bears were, because they're bears. They're bears. <laughs> <laughs> but if we'd had a full cavalry army there, we'd have actually done much better. I'm well, yeah, because you could have. But uh, it was when, I say, that with that rear charging in, I was just like... What? So, yeah, uh, plus 10 melee defense, uh, plus 10% ward save, reduces my wound recovery time, that's quite useful. Gives me a passive ability while casting, which increases my ward's damage resistance by 20%. 
So yeah, she, she got a fairly good art, art, art bit of armor from that. Built it. Yeah. Obviously, it could have been better, but... Yeah, but I mean, I'm literally just also swapping the army back into uh, Boris now. His Levites built in heat. And that, guys, Boris I think Urso is where himself. we're going to leave it for today. Having uh, just oh, won yeah. that battle for... What was it called? What was it called? Uh, <laughs> for the Crystal Cloak. Um, so, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you're enjoying watching us struggle with this, especially Tom struggling up in the north. <laughs> yeah. um, as always, uh, please do like, subscribe, comment to the comment god, the most powerful of Runa's powers, the YouTube algorithm, alber al alberism, algorithm, I can't talk. And as always, an extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. That's Monsters of the Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Prataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Noobie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you all for watching. Jizzle.